my name is graphics today we want to solve another problem on assembly drawing we will be drawing a v block and a clamp now if you look at the top right corner of your screen you see a diagram there that is the exploded diagram of a v block now we are to draw them in third angle projection after we have assembled them, we we'll draw them what third angle projection. Now, if you look at the figure A, as in figure A on the screen, that is the V block. And if you look out the B and C, is the clamp. Where you see, you see on the top right corner of the screen, is the end view of the figure B. So they are the same. D is the screw now the first thing you do is for you to draw your part list to show all the material available and show the component of those material and what they are made of now this is the part list here now this is the part list that we have the part name like i said the v block which is a figure a you see there the clamp which is the figure b and c and the screw now they are made from the v block is made from a carbon is made of from what i mean a cast iron and we only have one of them there no two v block then we have the clamp which is made up also from the same material as the v block which is cast iron and we have the screw made from what my steel I only have one one each of this component now we want to bring them together and draw them in third angle projection now i will bring the diagram out to give us a clearer view of what we have at the top right corner of our screen now this is the diagram here so we're making use of this instead of the one is the same as the one on the top right corner of the screen but to have a better understanding of what we're about to do we're using this now, like I said, this is the figure A, which is the clamp, the V block. Both of them are the clamp. This is in first, this is the same as this, and this is the screw. The first thing you first of all do is for you to draw out the clamp, right? So the V block. So let's draw out the V block and see how that goes. So the first thing you do, take your T square, right? And draw an horizontal line this way. You can see that now the next thing you're going to do here is to if you look this very close let me zoom it up so you see what I'm talking about discover that from this point to this point is given as what 60 is that again so what is here is what 60 so let's measure 60 and see how that goes now you take your rule and you measure 60 from 0 to 6 is 60 right so this is our point here let me just say it is point A to what point B is 60 now the next thing you do let's see now we are going to get the center of the 60 right where we are going to measure or you measure from here 17.5 and also from here 17.5 right so let's do that and see you take your compass your rule this rule here right and you take your compass and you measure 17.5 so if I place it here I place my rule this way and um, this is 10 15 this is 17 here 17.5 will be somewhere around here right now I will go to point B. I will go to point B here. I will mark from B to this side 17.5. I will go to the other part also from A to this part here 17.5. Right? Now I have done that. If you look at this from here to here is ticking and from here to here is also ticking. So I am going to ticking it. So, in taking it, I will have this 
from here to this point and this from here to this point so that is what we have now the next thing we'll do here is that if you look at this very well we have um, the distance from here we notice is 25 right so what we'll just do is you the angle at which these two meet here is what 90 degree well first of all you measure your 15 upward so let's measure the 15 upward and see how that goes so so with the help of your rule you take it to point a you measure a straight line up and you measure 15 up so this is the 15 from here to here is the 15 All right then you just draw your horizontal line on that 15 in this direction you can see that now after you've done that you will now measure five millimeter down how did i mean we know that from here to here is 60 half of 60 is 30 let's get that first half of 60 is 30 so this is the half of the 60 here right and i'll use my c square or my t square then i'll draw my vertical line up you can see that now what you do here is this since we have from this point to this point is five let me show you from here to here is five that means at this point i'll measure 2.5 to the left and 2.5 to the right to get that five so let's do that so measure 2.5 so let's assume that this four is zero is that again then I'll just measure 2.5 to each of the points here. So this is, or better still, you use your compass and measure your 2.5. Right? If it's not working, you take um, you take this and measure 2.5 to the left. So from here, this is 0, 1, 2. The middle of it is 0.5. Right? And then if you see what I'm doing. I said this is zero this is one to the middle of it 2.5 this is zero this is one to the middle of it our zone that is my what 2.5 now i'm going to take it together this way All right and i'll use my faint line and i'll bring it down this way and i'll bring this one down this way so the next thing we'll do is to draw the 90 degree because we are told that from this point to this point here they are both at an angle of what 90 degree so it means that from here 45 and from here 45 so let's do that and see how that goes now these are 45 degrees square if i place it on my t square if i come to this point i will draw an angle 45 and I'll move here also, I'll draw another angle, 45. So this is what I have. So this is what I am going to take in. From this point, I'll take in this. And from this point, I'll take in this. Then I'll close here up too. Then I'll close here up too. So this is what we have there All right so we've done this now the next thing i'm going to do here is the height the total height of this figure here that we're seeing here is uh let's see let's check it together from this point to this point here is 60. so it means that from here to also is 60. so I'll measure my 60 upward and see how that goes so in doing that, I'll have a, um, take my set square my rule, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. So from this point, I will take it up, and I'll measure 60 with my meter rule. So from here, 
upward is 60. Right? That's why that's a 60 there. Then with the help of my T square, I will just elongate it to the other side of it, which is this one. And I will bring it down from B upward. How good. So now the next thing you do again is that from here right to the next point from this point to here this line here is 25 let me show you so you can see what i'm actually trying to portray from here the next point says what 25 so i'm going to move 25 downward so let's take 25 downward so from here i'll measure 25 so i'm starting from 3 so the 3 i'm starting from is 0 so we have 0 this 10, this 20, and this what 25 here. So at that 25, I'll use my instrument set T square to elongate to the other side. So this point you are seeing here, let me call it this point you are seeing, is the same thing as this point here. Right? So to go down, how would I know the thickness of this? We'll know it from the clamp. It is this clamp here, 7.5, that is entering into this point here, right? And that is 7.5. So I'll measure 7.5 from this point downward. So let's measure 7.5 and see. So if I start from 2, from 0 here, downward is 0, is 5, right? This is 6, 7.5 here. So this is what we're having here. So let me just draw a straight line to just move it to the other point here. That is the 7.5. Now, how will I know the thickness of it? So we've done this. We said from here to here, 7.5, right? Now, what is the depth of it? Depth of it is what? It's 5. You can see? So I'll measure 5 inward. So I'll measure the 5 millimeter inward. So let's do that and see how that goes. 5 millimeter inward. So from 0, I'll take it 5 inward. From six or so, I'll take it five inward. Then I'll just use my set square and t square to just close it up. So this will close up this way, and this will close up this way. Is that okay? So we don't really need the other ones inside like this. So that is what we have here. This thickness here. So the next thing we are doing here is the top. From here inward is 10, meaning from here inward to is 10. I don't know if you can see that. Look at what I'm trying to say. From this point, inward is 10, meaning from here also is also 10, right? So let's measure the 10 inward, then we'll take our 90 degree downward. But before we do that, from this point down to this point where this line is here, is given as what? 22. Are we good? So we'll measure the 22 at that point. So let's measure 22 downward and see how that goes. So, so I'll measure 22 from here. This is 0. This is 10. This is 22 here. Right? And I'll take my meter rule. And I'm going to just draw it there. So the next thing is, like I said earlier, we we'll measure 10, 10 inward. Here, we measure from here to here is 10, to here to is 10. So I measure the 10 inward. Or better still, another way is that we are told that from this point, from this point here to this point here is what 40. Look at it, that here. So it's 40, right? This is 40 here. So from here to here is 40. So you just get the center line. Then you measure 20 to the left, 20 to the right, or you just measure your 10, 10, 10, 10. But let me use from the center, 20 to the left, and what? 20 to the right. So we know that when we draw earlier, this is um, our center point here. So I'll take my compass and I'll measure 20. 
so if I should measure the 20 if I should measure the 20 this is 20 that we have here right and I'll place it at the center point here and I'll mark 20 to the left and also 20 to the right right left and right and I'm going to thicken it so from this point I'll thicken this to this point and I'm going to thicken this to this point also this is what we have there now the next thing I'm going to do is to draw 90 degree but before we, we, before we move that we know very well that from here to here is 5 automatically from here to here too is also 5 so what we'll do I'll just project this upward since it's already there I'll project this upward a little bit touch that line a little bit to touch that line right so I will now take my 90 degree because we are told that the angle between here to here is 90 so this inclined line is inclined at what 90 degrees so I'll just project that let me just increase this a little bit so let's project it with our 45 degrees set square so if I move it there I'll place it on my T square now I look at that point you can see that so I'll just draw this to touch that line this line and I'll come to the other one too I'm going to do the same thing for it to touch that line the way it touches the line that is where we we'll draw a line so let's do that and see so I'm going to close here up this way and I'll close here up too from here to this point and I'll close here up too from here to this point then here also and here too now we've done this other two parts so it means that the rest of this part here is thickened right so let me thicken them and see how that goes so I'll thicken from this point to this point and uh, from this point to this point then I'll close here up like this and here too so you're just taking it all around and you have this from here to here and from here to here So we've done this, we've replicated this diagram here that we have now. So we, so we need the assembly drawing of this. So we need to clamp this on this V block. So clamp this on this V block. So let's see how we do that. Now we are working with this. We are done with this. We are now working with this now. Now if you notice it, this point is entering here, right? Now this is tangential to the body of this V block. So all you do is this. From this base here, up here is 22. They are already telling you that it is what? 22. You can see that? From here, up here is what? 22.5. So we are going to do that and see how that goes. They are already telling you, look at this, we have 22. So let's move that and see and measure 22 from that point. Now the first thing you do is to draw 5 point. The distance from here to here is what? 7.5. So if here is 7.5, here is also what? 7.5. So let's measure 7.5 away from the V block. So let me assume that. I will draw an horizontal line this way from here. And I will draw it from here also. 
and I'm going to measure 7.5. So I will make use of my my T square, my compass, and and I'll measure 7.5. Let's see, this is 7.5 here, and I'll place it at this point, and I'll mark 7.5. I place at this point also. I also mark 7.5. Now, with the help of my compact, my T square and C square, I'll just elongate it a little bit up this way. Elongate it a little bit up this way, and I'll come here also and elongate it up this way. You can see that. Then, the next thing I'm going to do is i will just close it up here from this point we'll come here to touch here and here also we'll come here to touch here you can see that and i will log it here also a little bit to this point and i'll get here too to this point now we are moving from this point we know that from the base up to the center i'm going to measure 32. see this is 32 here so i measure 32 upward from the base here which base this base is like this base here so i measure 32 upward so let's measure the 32 up and see how that goes so from here i'm measuring 32 so this is 30 and um, this is 30 the two will be somewhere around here. So let me see it's forming from this point also. From this point. Right? So that is 32 there. Now the next thing I'll do is I have a radius. How would I get this curve? We are told that from to get this first curve, we are going to measure to get the center of this and we have a radius of what? 30.5 right so it is easier to do just take your compass right take your compass and you place it at the center here and you take it to the first curve here and you draw and see that this is the first one you do right and the second one also you do the same thing from here to this point see the same thing you can see that well we use the front line you can see that i use the front line first of all now the next thing we'll be doing here is that at this point let me take it up a little bit at this point we've done this two thickness here now the next one is we are giving um, a diameter we have m16 and two millimeter pitch when you see anything like this it means the diameter of uh, this here is m16 by two so the m16 is the diameter so we want to know the thickness right and the thickness here is actually not given but what I'm seeing here, we're giving it to be what? 25, right? So what we actually do, we just measure 12.5 to the left and 12.5 to the right. Is that taken? So, but what we'll just do is, we'll do that and see how that goes. So I will elongate my, I will adjust this upward, this way, right? And um, I will elongate my center line, which is this, upward, this way. You can see that. Now the next thing I am going to do here is, um, since this thickness here is diameter of what, 25. So I will take 12.5 with my metal rule. And I'm going to measure it here. I measure 12.5 with my meter rule. From here, this is this is 12.5 here. Right? 
and I'll place it at this point. I'm going to mark left and I'm going to mark right. And I will extend it with the help of my um, C square and T square. I will extend it upward this way, faint line, faint line, and this also faint line. That's both of them. You can see that. Now, the next thing I'll do here is we are told that there is a radius of 3 at this point here. So I'm going to draw an arc of radius 3. So I will extend this with radius 3. Let's do that. So it is very small. So, so your compass. Let's zoom it. You just measure three millimeter. You place at this point where they meet. You bisect up. You bisect down. With the same radius, you place it here. You cut up and you place it here. You cut here also. Now, with the help of it, this center where they meet, you are going to get your radius. It is very small. You can see that. The same thing will happen at the other corner too. You're going to center at the other corner too at this point. You mark here, you mark here. You come to this point, you slash. You come to this point also, you slash. Then with this, you're going to draw another arc here. You can see that? So you can just stick in from this point mm -hmm. stick in from this point from this point like I said you place it at this point and you stick in to this point to this point here right and you do the same thing from here also taking from this point to this point right so you do the same thing here too and then um, you close it up from here you close it up and also you close it up Right now, you also do for the one in two the internal circle. Right now, if you look at this very well. The height from here hmm, to this point here is 90. So where is that point that we're talking about? Let's see. It says that the height from this point upward is 90. Are we together? The height from this point upward is 90. So let's measure that 90. So I'll just extend my line. To this point at then I will extend my center line I drew earlier which is this so from this point now I'm going to measure 90 upward so in measuring 90 I'll be having this so I measure 90 from this point which I, I will trace to this point here so let's do that and see to 0 to 90, this is point 0.90 here. So that is where it's stopping. And I'll go to that point with my T square and, and I'll just draw a line. So it means that that is the height of this figure from here to here. Is that taking? So I could just easily taking it to that point. 
So I'll just take in from here to this point, and I'll take in from here to this point. Now we are moving high up. So from here, we'll see how this goes. Now the next thing we'll be doing here is now this screw is coming in here how did I know that this is how you know that we are told that we have a diameter of the screw to be m16 by 2 and it's pointing here that here it is what m16 by 2 so it's meaning that all this is coming into this place right so we'll start doing that so we'll give a space of what 70 minus 74 that is 4 so we'll increase the space of 4 upward they will start moving so let's see how that goes so the first thing you do is to draw your 24 millimeter diameter how will you do that since we have m16 multiply 16 by 1.5 and that will give us 24 so at this center here you draw a circle of what 24 so let's do that and see so I'll measure 24 this is 24 here 24 which one I'll use 12 12 this is 10 11 12 here right and I'll place it somewhere around here where I can draw my circle this way so the circle I'm drawing there is where I'm going to do my across flat and across corner just like I taught you in the previous video by taking your um, 60 degree set square place it this way and um, you put it like this this will come here and uh, this will come here if you want to not do your cross flats you should click on the link up to lead you to how to do your cross flat circle your cross flat po uh, polygon of a cross flat now I'll turn it this way and I'll have this I'll do the same thing here too to connect this together And I'll connect this together too. So this is what we have here. Now you project all those points downward. So let's project it down and see how it goes. So from here, uh, I'll project it down. This one will come down here. And uh, this also. It's going to come down here. Then this is already done its own. This is already done its own. This is the 25 we did earlier. Right? Then this is there. And um, this also is there. So we've drawn all these guys down. So what we start to do is the top. We are told earlier that from here, this is the screw. We are told we have 30. From the center, this will be 15. From the center, will be 15, right? So, and we know that this is my center line. So, I'm going to measure 15 to the left and 15 to the right with the help of what? My compass. So, this is 15 here. So, I'll place it at the center here. I'll measure to the left, 15 to the left, and also 15 to the right, 15 to the right, left and right, right? So, after I've done that, I'll measure my 15 to the left and 15 to the right, I'll just project it upward, this way, stop here, and this way, stop here. Now the next thing I'll do is to get the cap. 
So I will say that um, the height, the total height of my my um, the head of the screw is um, thirty. Why did I say it's thirty? Is because if you look at this very well, from the center down is fifteen. Automatically from the center up is also fifteen. So the total height is what is thirty. So what you simply do is just you come here after you've drawn your hexagon. You just place it from the first circumference of the circle to the second circumference of the circle. Just this way. You can see that. Or better still, you just move it this way. Then you take your 45 degree according to what you said in the question that it is what? 2 by 45. Then I'll just take this. I'll place it there and I'll draw my inclined line is chamfered at 45 degree. So I'll just do that. Just a little. Then you also a little. And I'll close it up. So from here, I will close it up. And I'll do the other aspect too. So we'll close here up to on this point. I will have this. Take it up this way. This is going up. This is going up. So from here, I'll just close it up. Close it up too. And we have a circle at the center, which is we're told that it is a um, diameter of what? Diameter of seven. So it's very small. So measure your three point five and you draw your circle. This way. So, we are told that this thickness here is just 4 mm because from here, from here to here is 74 and from here to the next point here is what? Is 70. So 70 minus 74 will give you 4. So thickness from here to here is what? Is 4. Now, we move forward. Now, since the thread length is not up to 200, right? We're going to be using 2D plus 6. Now, we know the diameter is 16, so 2 times 16 plus 6. So, 32 plus 6 will give us what? 38. So, our thread length is what? Is 38. So, if I want to do that, I'll measure 38 and just re re replicate whatever I have here. So, how will I do that? I will just extend on my line downward this way. So you just go to draw it okay. So I'll zoom at this point we have the four right and also we have this two. Now this is what we have, right? So we want to draw the end view of it. We need to draw the plan because the question says we draw the two views associated with it. Now the end view with it is just we are going to project this towards the left, right? All those points that we have, like these points, we will project it towards the left. Move to the next point also. We project it towards the left. 
remove all those points we are going to what projecting them this also we project this we project um this we project even this also let's do that and then the tip of this we project this side also we project here too we project here too we project all those points right and the project this is what we have here when you project all those lines now the next thing we do is to pick a point let me assume that the distance from here to here is 10 the distance from here to here is 10 then another 10 again so i will just draw the next 10 now in the question we are told if you look clearly, we are told that the length of the V block is 65. So the length we use here is what? 65. So let's measure 65 from here. So this is 65. Right? So that will be our length. And I'm going to thicken it. I'll thicken the length. 65. Right? Now up to this stage i will take here up also take it up just to this point now we cannot see this so we're using hidden line to show it inside hidden line to show it inside because we cannot see it. also this also hidden line to show it inside right now the next one is this this will be closed right because it will just be a straight line so now we move forward because it will be blocked with this go to the next part which is top of this one here so it will be a straight line this way also the center is at 2.5 so this is the center here right now the thickness of this it's given in the question and what is the thickness that is given as um, 32 from here we have to that is 32 so measure 16 to the left and 16 to the right so 16 to the left and 16 to the right so this is 16 here to the left and to the right so we have this this point and this this point <coughs> right now um the next thing we'll do after you've mentioned the 32 now you extend it straight down to this point here because it is covered so from this point you extend it down to here and from this point you extend it down here and then you close here up this way just close it up from here just close it up and then from here also just close it up but in is hidden and just close it up so here yeah, will not be visible so it's not be visible i will just move it up to this stage here right and in here it will be hidden 
because of this so I will just close up here I need to close up here this way and I'm going to close it up to this way now this is where this top stops here so you just put your straight line now if you look at what we have here we are given that there is an arc here so I'm just 16 away from the center so I'll be able to get this arc right so let's measure 16 away from the center now we know this is the center here so measure 16 away so with the help of my first square my rule and this is 16 away so let's just move forward and see how that goes now if you look at this very well this here is giving us diameter 25 so you measure 12.5 to the left and also 12.5 to the right so I will just simply do here I might just come to the center here I know from here to here is 12.5 right or I'm talking about this diagram here from here to here it's 12.5 so I'll just place it here and I'll mark left and what and right. Then I'll project it up. I'll project it up. And I'll also project it up. So it means that there is a an arc here. If you bisect it the way I did the other one here, I will only place my compass this way let make it more visible so this is what I mean here the main diagram I'll place it at this point at this point which is like this I'll mark up and mark down but it's a very small reduce so I will just simply do I'll just use and just close it up this way the very small radius right so we proceed from this point we'll be having this mm -hmm. so let's see how that goes let's see the compass at this center here with radius here we get this which is what we have done here right and um, we move it to that junction here which is this and um, this and we close it up So the same thing happens again. We will also do the same thing. Measure. I will just replicate what I did here earlier. I will replicate it here and I will be having this. So I will be having this. Right? So, now this is what we have. The front elevation and the end view. Now what is remaining now is the plan. Now if I draw my plan under here, under this diagram, it means I am drawing in first angle. But if I draw my plan on top of this diagram, it means I'm drawing in what? In third angle. So in this video, I'm going to be drawing in first angle. But what you're actually told to do is to draw in third angle projection. So I'll just project this down. Whatever I draw under here, that is what if you are told to draw in third angle, that's what you draw on top of the diagram. So let's see how that goes. The first step you do is to project all the lines downward now at every junction here I'll project them down so this I'm going to bring it down right to make it thicker then this 
I'm going to bring it down also. So all those points, I'll be taking them down and down. I'm going to be taking them down. Even this point also, I'll take it down. And then this two, take it down. This two, take it down. This, take it down. So every point, I'm going to take them down. This is what we have. Right? Now, I will just take a part of it. Let me assume that um, since I'm using 10 millimeter apart, I said from here to here is what? Is 20. Right? So that means I'll measure 20 apart too. So I'm turning from 4 to this. That is 20, and this is the center here. So I'll just draw that. Out. I'll draw that out. I have this. I'll draw this out, and I also draw this out, and I'll bring this down too. So, this is what I have. Now, I'm going to take in from the beginning of the line to the ending of the line. This way. From the beginning to the ending. This is what we have. Now, the next thing I will do is the thickness. Tell what thickness is now. How would I get the thickness? I need to draw. 45 degree of this right so I'm going to project this point this way this is this way at an angle 45 degree this direction right so I'm start, I'll start bringing all those lines down from here so the thickness is just this line that I'm going to project this line I mean so this line that I project here I'm going to project it to the side here so this is the thickness so I'm going to take in all those aspects there let's take in that from here we we'll also be thickened so I'm taking that point now so I love taking all those four corners first of all. All those four corners first of all. That is what we have here. Now, if I take this downward, if I trace it downward, I'll be having this. I'll trace it to downward, I'll be having this. Then I'll project this this point. And I'll also project this this point. Here we have. Now this bigger the head here will project it down. So let's do that and see first. I'll do that and see this is coming down to touch here and uh, this also is coming down to touch here then I'm going to project it towards the side and um, we notice the center line this center line so 
people on that center line with this center line where they meet I'll say they meet here and I'll draw a circle a bigger circle from here to this point if it's well drawn it ought to touch both sides correctly so it's double of it because the chamfer side is 2 millimeter now the other one I will just thicken this from this point right to this point here and this at this point to this point also now look at it very well we have this and the rest we'll be having will be all these lines they are hidden so I'm going to draw them as hidden line like this so it will be hidden so then how long I'll be having this so this is what you are going to be having now this is the uh, elevation the front elevation the end view and the plan so if you realize that the distance from here to here is the distance from here to here right and the distance from here to here is the distance from here to here so all these are the hidden lines so with your knowledge in autographic projection you have to understand that why i'm drawing hidden lines here because of the part we cannot see when i traced my line here if i'm looking at it from the top right i cannot see this side are you with me due to the fact of because of that hidden line and also here also so what i'll simply do at these two points here is that i will just stick in these two here and this also then here also and here also the same thing will happen here too i'll take in here too and here also then here too oh and this point we'll do that so i'll take in here do this and this and this is just my hidden line so if you found this video helpful please don't forget to click on the subscribe button thanks for watching